you want to know what it is? Information. Remember. Information. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel for you on things. How you doing? How you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. We do need to stay focused on some big challenges, like climate change. Hey, listen, y'all, if you haven't noticed, California is bone dry. <laughs> it looked like a trailer for the new Mad Max movie up in there. <laughs> The science is clear. Nine out of the ten hottest years ever came in the last decade. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I do know how to count to ten. Rising seas, more violent storms. You got mosquitoes, sweaty people on the train, stinking it up. It's just nasty. Y'all remember when I had that big old hole in the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, and then I plugged it? Remember that? Which Obama's Katrina was that one? Was, it, was that 19 or was it, what, what, was it 20? Because I can't, I can't remember. Look at what's happening right now. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. And one of the very last speeches that Obama ever gave was live on stage with a comedian. And look at those mince pies. What an evil stare you've got, my son. And near enough all the way through the videos, he's got his hands like this. It reminds me of some sort of animal. Of course, he's trying to convey some sort of message. Oh, I'm being a conspiracy theorist. There's nothing in it. Okay then, so what did you take away from that video? They've been spraying for years and something's going on that is now a national security risk and not just for the United States, all over the world. It's getting worse day by day, it's becoming more extreme. And they say that this is global climate change. We're gonna geoengineer our atmosphere. We're gonna solar management the sun because our world is getting hotter, because of us, our carbon footprint, our CO2. I'm going with the general consensus. Many people across the world taking photographs of something in the sky, taking videos of things that shouldn't be there. But of course, that's not at all possible. We're all conspiracy theorists, and they're not spraying, are they? To show you an article, I'll leave the link to this in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. The science behind human controlled weather, and it's basically for people that don't believe in geoengineering and think that chemtrails are just water vapor and this picture looks right because, oh, that is definitely not water vapor. Let me just read you the first paragraph. It hasn't been an enjoyable winter for much of the United States. Record snowfall has blanketed cities like Boston, while below freezing temperatures and relentless wind chills have sent shivers all the way down from Chicago to Atlanta. And this we can agree with, record snowfall 100%. The weather is strange all over the world. And are they trying to say this is geoengineering? Possibly, possibly not. I'm looking at the poles moving to 37 degrees. The North Pole at this moment in time is 37 degrees. I think that shift would bring the weather down and affect the whole world because it's not just America. Many records have been broken and set all over the world for extreme weather. But I need to show you this article because it really says it all. The process of weather modification comes up in conversation again and again, often in debate over who governments or private companies should do the modifying. What are the health effects? Well, we know the health effects are going to be quite bad. Many people, uh, yeah, of course, it's just the flu. Don't you worry about it. There is a company over in the UK. It's a luxury-based company. It's called Oliver's Travels, good name, has announced a weather modification service that would burst clouds and guarantee clear skies by using cloud seeding, a process to encourage participation. Why just can't they call it rain? Before their client's big day and the company only requires three weeks to study and alter the weather at the wedding site, and if you've got 150 large, it's for you. They're just telling us that they can modify the weather when they like. 
like I said, one form of modification. And there are plenty different variants, and I'll leave the links to that in the description box down below. There are over 600 patents. Go figure. I urge you to go over and read the rest of this because it is quite interesting and it tells you quite a lot. And like I said, this is just one form of weather modification. Tracy sent me a message, said, I've put a video up, come over, have a look, Nige, see what you think, tell me what's going on. I clicked the link and this is what I was presented with. I actually paused the video here, spent about five minutes trying to determine whether it is night or day. The sun was rising, sun was setting, and whereabouts in the sky the sun actually was. I'm very, very convinced it was just here, or it was just there. You can see the colours in the background, very, very red. And I'll leave the links to her channel in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. Don't tell me what you're looking at. Tell her, go over and share the love. And tell Tracy what you think's going on. Now I've got a little bit of background that I'll fill you in. This was taken in Ireland from Dublin at 10 to 7. Another 10 more minutes and the sun starts to rise. Now sky doesn't look right, that's for sure. For me, it looks like a plasma sky. I was convinced I was looking at the sun behind this cloud, or maybe just here. But now I know different. Why is it so red? Oh, of course, that is our atmosphere interacting with our sun, and that's why you get the red. Or is it something rising that's red just before our sun? Because 10 minutes later, as the sun started to rise, apparently the clouds went gray and the red just disappeared. That, for me, tells me everything I need to know. So for me, what I'm looking at is a sun simulator rising, and it's not our sun. Our sun is yellow, it's still there in the sky. It's a yellow gas giant. Not so much gas, but plasma, electric universe. And we've also got a red object coming towards us. I've shown that many different times, the red spinning planet getting clearer and clearer day by day. But what's interesting, as we've heard, after about 10 minutes, these colours just fade away and it all turns grey because they've already sprayed, chemtrailed, so they can hide whatever is rising in the sky with the sun. Whether the sun is rising or setting, there seems to be clouds in the way. Have you noticed? But it's only a red sunrise, Nige. There's nothing in it. Of course, we have red sunrises and sunsets but we're not supposed to have those every single day. This is what we've got to understand. There is a myth, and it depends where you live in the world as to how it goes. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight, red sky in the morning, sailor's warning. Yours might vary. So the reasons that they're chemtrailing is not for what they're saying. Global climate change. It's nothing to do with offsetting our carbon emission footprint as a human race but it's for another reason, to hide the technology in our skies and also hide the planets that are incoming. This picture, three years ago, Scotland and Linda sent this in. Thank you very much, Linda, really appreciate it. Everything looks quite normal until you take a closer look. We've got the LED sun simulator there, but also we've got this petal effect, which we get to see every now and then. We can actually point the same camera at the sun many different times through the year and every now and then we get this petal effect suddenly pop up oh is the camera abnormality no but it suddenly started to appear about three to four years ago and then we've got this object here i'm looking at a lens in the sky technology hiding things oh it's a lens flare okay what about this lens flare here and this lens flare here and this one 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 that is impossible you can have a line of lens flares don't get me wrong but you can't have lens flares absolutely everywhere there is technology hiding things in the sky that's why they geoengineering to turn the sky into a big one-way mirror with this big led sun simulator you can't see anything behind it they're hiding what is coming towards us. Through the video, I've been talking about chemtrails and the reason behind why they've been doing it, or maybe not. 
Hey guys, it's July 24th, it's about 12 o'clock noon and they are blowing it up. I've also talked about technology in our skies. I've shown you a lens system and we've looked at the sun simulator. Also have been talking about planets, objects coming towards us and they've been making different colors in the sky at this particular moment in time. The prevalent color is red. Now one of my subscribers, Craig, sent me an email and because I get so many emails and I've been so busy, I didn't get to see this until the other day. And what I'm gonna do is drop a link in the description box for his channel. I really do think this is one of the best bits of evidence I've ever seen. I'd like you to go over and share the love and also please share this video because I think it's very, very important. Share it with people that don't believe because what we're looking at here, I find quite impossible. I'm trying to find a logical explanation to what we're looking at and I really haven't come across one yet. The only reason that we got two shadows, one each side of the lorry, is because there's two light sources in the sky. Sun and sun simulator, or sun simulator and another object. If you look at the sky, you can see it's chemtrailed. There's no chance of seeing anything behind there, but there are two light sources. That is an impossibility. Actually, I found the answer. It's another 40 camera. Of course it is. It's a lens flare. So could we use science and history to find a correlation to what's going on in our skies, in our world and on our sun? Is there some sort of cycle, an event that occurs that explains everything that we're looking at and is going on through the world? I think we can. And I would like to introduce you to Ben Davison, suspicious observers. I'll leave the links to his channel in the description box down below. He does a great 21 part series of Earth Catastrophe Cycle. That was easy for me to say, wasn't it? And I highly recommend that you go over and watch this. Let me play you a clip and it's for you to decide, but I think it's very, very telling, very revealing. And what he's saying, we're overdue, but it's happening now. But I'm gonna leave you to decide what you're looking at. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. We go back to where we began, with the classified Chan Thomas book, The Adam and Eve Story. The CIA declassified a highly sanitized 57-page version of the Adam and Eve story, which most of us had never heard of. The disaster is coming. There are coincidences you just don't ignore. And when the evidence of magnetic reversals, mass extinctions, have, of course, seen the rapid acceleration of Earth's changing magnetism over the last hundred years and are about due for the next cycle event by nearly every approximation available in this realm. It is hard to imagine a galactic event triggering the Earth, but not the Sun. This could truly be a multiple event catastrophe.